Summer is all about spending time outside, but there might be a risk you're not thinking of. That's noise. From lawnmowers and power tools, even fireworks around the 4th of July, that noise can damage our hearing. Dr. Haley Owen, an audiologist with Livingston Hearing Aid Center, joins us to explain more about how that damage could occur and what we can do to help. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Dr. Owen, tell me a little bit about how summer can impact the risk for hearing loss. You know, during the summer, we're just exposed to a lot of outdoor activities that we wouldn't normally be around. Uh, we're mowing the lawn, uh, outdoor concerts, power tools, um, even fireworks on the 4th of July. All of these things can be damaging to your hearing. And why is that specifically? What, what makes something too loud for our ears? So the standard is really about 85 decibels. This would be about the level of your normal everyday traffic. Um, at 80, 85 decibels, you can withstand that for about eight hours before uh, any hearing loss uh, is, is really, really going to occur. After that, even just three decibels louder, we just need to reduce our time by half. So um, if we're just mowing the lawn, uh, we might be able to mow the lawn for, you know, two to four hours before damage can occur. But we just need to be aware uh, that, that's, that that's damaging and probably protect our hearing every chance we get. And something that's on all of our minds is the 4th of July this weekend. What about fireworks? What specifically makes them so dangerous? Sure. Well, so with fireworks, it's really going to be all about the distance. So if you are going to be doing fireworks on the ground, um, the further away you can be from those fireworks, the safer it's going to be for you. Um, if you're going to be exploding them close, you know, black cats, Roman candles, your best bet is actually going to be to wear hearing protection. And looking beyond the fireworks as the summer continues, what should we all be doing in our daily lives to just reduce the risk of hearing loss for ourselves? Anytime you're around something potentially dangerous, um, you know, wear hearing protection. I definitely recommend getting your hearing tested at least once a year just so that you can keep track of, you know, where you're at as far as your hearing goes. Um, at Livingston, we offer free hearing testing, so you can certainly come in and we can uh, find out what your baseline hearing is and we can keep track of that over the years. Uh, we also make custom made uh, hearing ear earplugs, hearing protection, so those are going to get a better seal. Um, so if you're going to be around those noises a lot, you might want to consider getting some custom made earplugs. Dr. Owen, thank you so much. This is an important topic on something we might not be thinking about as we start to have fun these summer months.